Hello, what's up everyone? So my name is Ngo Yip Ya Tong and yeah, today I'm gonna be talking about how a wind turbine work. So first of all, I would like to talk about the part of the turbine and then second one is process of uh, wind turbine work. And the last one is renewable energy in the future. So for the first one, you see uh, the part of the wind turbine, uh, as you can see on the right screen, uh, you see the picture of the wind turbine with the name of uh, each part on it. And on the other side, these are the details of the wind turbine part. So for the first one, you see the rotor places. Uh, the, pl uh, the places are usually two or three that's uh, are affected by the wind. And the next one is the brake, the uh, use uses to stop the rotor in case of emergency. So the next one is the generator, um, the wind to buy you induction generator to produce 60 uh, HAC uh, electricity per cycle. The, the next one is the low switch shop, the that's it rotate about city to uh, 32 city uh, revolution per minute and the high speed shop is it to supply the the generator then the, the gearbox a rotational switch necessary to reduce electricity ranges from 1000 to 1800 revolution per minute and then the next sales the brake controller generator and shop are enclosed in a field casing. The rotor hub, the places are the hub with, to which uh, the plate are connected together from the rotor. Um, the tower, the higher wind to buy to capture energy because uh, the higher up tower, the greater the wind power and the friction on the ground will interrupt the flow of the wind. And uh, the last one is the wind vane. Help, help adjust the wind to buy with respect to the, the direction of the wind if the wind changes. So the second one is the process of how a wind to buy works. Uh, when the wind to buy moves over the plate, the downwind phase of the plate will move faster to reach the end, the end of the plate in time to meet the wind on the upwind phase of the place. Since the wind under the downwind phase of the place move faster, the air, the air tends to rise in the atmosphere creating a force to grip the place turn. The lift force is the normal force acting from perpendicular to the direction of the wind flow and the drag force is the tension force with echo parallel to the direction of the wind flow. So at the bottom of the right screen, uh, this is the equation of the force acting on the place. Uh, Fn is the normal force and Ft is the tension force. Uh, delta L uh, represents the length of certain side. Uh, and corresponding delta x and delta y. Um, P is the pressure on the airfoil. So to get the more energy from the wind, the wind turbine have to fight the wind, but sometimes the wind the wind usually change the direction. That's why uh, the engineer make the, the wind bank on the top of the nacelle. If the wind change the direction, the wind bank will signal to turn the turbine be aligned with the wind direction. If it is too windy, the brakes are applied to prevent the rotor from the spinning for safety reasons. Uh, depend on the length of the play wind, the wind the wind turbine will make more uh, electricity generating from the wind. And the last one is the renewable energy in the future. So renewable power tend to have significantly higher congestion costs 
but uh, operating costs, which are basically zero. So they are uh, actually a lot of expenses to renewable energy. The wind energy is released is growing day by day. However, the renewable future isn't going to just happen at the some point magically in the future. This is going to happen because of the decision we make today, tomorrow, and the next day, every day, and the next four, 40 and 50 years. Uh, if we want to, uh, if we want to take a strongly national commitment and ambition, we will get a clean energy in the future. So yeah, uh, I think that's it for today, and I hope you guys learn something from uh, from this and thank you professor scott for giving me the idea because my major is electrical engineering and it's very helpful for me to research about those things and thank you for watching my presentation uh, i really appreciate it and you guys have a good day thank you